Hello everyone, welcome to another comment of mine. Today I would like to talk about Element 1. Element is a client for Matrix and Matrix is this distributed uh, chat application and Element is the client which I'm using to use it. Uh, and today uh, I found out that the company behind Element is offering a service uh, to host your own uh, server on their uh, on their servers basically so how it normally works is that you host your server or you use one of the public servers and those all of the servers can then communicate with each other uh, the public servers are obviously quite big and many people are on there so and uh, but I'm myself using my own server so let's let's look at uh, the announcement here so element one all matrix whatsapp signal and telegram in one place so normally you only can talk between matrix uh, d servers but uh, matrix has the concept of bridges which make it so that you can, uh, if there is an API to a, to a different uh, chat application, then you can use the API to write a bridge, which will then translate uh, the things from uh, Matrix to, let's say, WhatsApp and back. Uh, and those bridges uh, are open source so let's see let's here is the the matrix uh, whatsapp bridge which is one uh, which is basically their whatsapp bridge uh, uh, it's open source you can just uh, install it on your somewhere either on your computer or on your server or something and connect it uh, stick it in as a plugin basically into uh, the matrix your matrix server the thing is that uh, it's quite involved uh, to do it manually. So if we look here, you basically go down and bridge set up. You need to know a lot about uh, hosting. Uh, and to be honest, I, I set it up myself. I set it up for Signal and for, Matri uh, for WhatsApp and one time for facebook which was very very bad and uh, so the facebook thing it bridge doesn't really work you need to fiddle around with uh, different uh, with basically you need to go into the source code of the facebook page find a cookie there copy it and so on it's very unfriendly and it also disconnects all the time so it doesn't it doesn't really work the whatsapp one is quite okay the only problem that is unstable it's it disconnects many many times so you need to to connect it back again uh, and i only have my uh, my cousins there uh, so that's why i just don't bother with it anymore uh, what i have is the signal bridge uh, which i use quite extensively because a lot of my friends or most of my contacts are on Signal and only a couple of them are directly on Matrix. So now the, there is uh, this possibility for you to get the connections hosted by them. So you don't need to do all this stuff here, which is quite complicated. But actually you only set it up once uh, and then it runs, but you need to know a lot of things to do it. So they offer something for five dollar uh, per month. You get the bridges and the server for WhatsApp, Signal, and Telegram, and you can use all of them together, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> there's a funny thing here. Uh, they write it's only a matter of time until traditional messaging apps adopt Matrix. This is yeah, dream on, dream on. I would say before those traditional uh, chatting apps adopt Matrix, they will just shut down the API, basically like Facebook did. Just shut it down and contain everyone inside of your app and try to pull them in. Uh, 
they will I don't think it's possible for for chat applications to to interoperate uh, this is just right now in the beginning it's always like this in the beginning there's an API to for the early adopters so that they can uh, do stuff uh, cool and interesting like Twitter did it Facebook did it and they all removed the APIs uh, because they they saw that the API makes it so that there is no di differentiating factor anymore between this chat app and that chat app. If you use a different, uh, if you don't use their own um, uh, uh, their own application, then pff, you don't even see they are just plumbing, and that's not what they want. They want to make money. They want to show you. Uh, advertisement and so on and so on basically uh, theoretically it's nice you don't need to to do it yourself you pay those five dollars which I find fairly expensive because all of those services are free but obviously yeah if it's free then you're you're the not the customer <laughs> you're the product so for that yeah it's okay I would rather have it for one dollar per month, so twelve months, uh, twelve dollars a year or something. But I understand, so yeah. Why not five dollar? So yeah, and they explain everything that it's a fully managed consumer experience, and I see here from the screenshots that it's very nice actually, because it's in integrated into into the element. Uh, application so you just connect it scan the code or whatever and that's it for me i need to to fiddle around with the bridge uh, and there's no ui for it so you need to do all the things like with text uh, and so on so yeah it's nice i would say especially if you're not a developer or not a sysadmin then it's a good way so yeah then obviously here they kudos for them to to write this in in the same uh, article that there is of course uh, there are of course problems uh, the thing uh, is that if you i can show you a, a prepared time a kind of a overview in pure matrix if uh, me and christian we are just using matrix he has his server i have my server there's no third party uh, and on my laptop uh, i use it on my laptop he uses it on his iphone for example uh, it's end-to-end -end encrypted so so the encryption uh, starts here we still own all the infrastructure so it's totally uh, safe if you set it up correctly obviously <laughs> so no problem here so you can use it you you, you can be sure that uh, that nobody can listen in because it's end-to-end -end encrypted and you own all the infrastructure here which is super cool which is the main reason why i'm using matrix i don't want to uh, to to rely on a third party for hosting or anything so all the servers everything is open source you can look into it. The clients are open source. It's end-to-end -end encrypted and so on and so on. Very nice. Let's say then that you go and take their uh, offer and don't, you, don't, don't host your server yourself, but instead you use their uh, server. They, they call it one.ems.host. So what happens is that they, they own this server and they also... Uh, need a bridge to talk to WhatsApp. Oh yeah, let's let's so set up is it again me here with my laptop, and then Thomas uh, who who is not on Matrix but he's on WhatsApp WhatsApp with his iPhone. So there is an end-to-end -end encryption uh, exactly like here. So WhatsApp has end-to-end -end encryption. We don't know if it works well or anything because it's closed source but at least they say they have end-to-end -end encryption the problem is that when you use a matrix then the bridge needs to decrypt it 
So, so he sends something to the WhatsApp server, it's encrypted, then it gets sent from the WhatsApp server to the WhatsApp bridge. And then this needs to decrypt it, because uh, only the bridge understands the protocol of, of the WhatsApp uh, server, the API. And then it's decrypted, and then uh, via HTTPS, uh, it's sec still secured from here to, to the laptop which is mine, but I only own this, this part. I don't own this, I don't own this. So they need to decrypt your message and they can read it. They promise uh, that they will not, uh, not read it or do, won't do anything to it. But yeah, uh, you never know. Uh, as soon as... Uh, it's, it's still a company and they probably will want to do something, some mon more money and they will check, oh, yeah, you never know. So you, you cannot just trust them. They ask you to trust them, but I would say you cannot. Yeah, so so that's that's really bad. That's the, the big problem with this setup. Uh, so even though you, theoretically you would be able to uh, to have it and to unencrypt it, it's not possible because there is a different protocol between it. Yeah, let's say if I if I would also use WhatsApp, then we would have it end to end encrypted because it would go like this from WhatsApp here to my computer, uh, and then it would then the the encryption would be here. like this so that would be okay but because you introduce this you basically break break the end-to-end -end encryption and give especially this company uh, the possibility to decrypt uh, all data all content which uh, which you are talking to this person here on whatsapp and this is the same setup for signal and for telegram which you which which are there for because you want to have this this end-to-end -end encryption because you want to have it nice and secure but you are basically breaking this security by allowing them to host it what i'm doing is something like this i self-host my uh, my server and i self-host my bridge so uh, it's the same uh, setup as here the difference is that I own the whole part here. So we do end-to-end -end encryption from uh, Thomas's uh, iPhone until my uh, bridge. But because it's me, it's only me who has access to this one. Uh, it's it's secure, and I can uh, set up HTTPS all the way here, or in the future probably end-to-end -end encryption from here to here. So even if it needs to decrypt the WhatsApp stuff, it still uh, is totally secure because I own all of these things. Uh, I don't think there is a good way of uh, of fixing the problem that uh, not everybody can host it themselves, so they need to rely on something like this. So I guess that is why they wrote that uh, it's only a matter of time until traditional me messaging apps adopt matrix because then what would happen is that uh, you would not need the bridge but uh, whatsapp could talk directly whatsapp could talk directly here to to this server uh, and they would not need to decrypt anything they would just use the same encryption and then you would again move this one here which would be which would be okay mm, like this but this is not what it, what is happening right now and they have no idea if if this ever will be possible or not okay uh yeah that is what i wanted to talk about today uh just some background information about uh, element one the one app to rule them all as they say uh, be careful if 
and just decide if the if it's worth it uh, to give them uh, the keys to your encryption or not see you guys